Okay, so this is uh, Dr. Scott Geller speaking. It is early May 2021, the end of COVID. It better be. And I have a great patient here from Tampa. And and he, you, when did that big floater first start on you? How long uh, was in it? around the November time frame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, it was very unusual because there's some pictures of part of it. But it was more like a, a membrane than a... Oh, than a, than a common common vitreous floater. Uh, it was pretty darn thick. But you went to Dr. Ulrich, uh, a prominent retinal specialist, and I guess you were offered vitrectomy, but you asked for the alternatives? He actually thought that vitrectomy wasn't a good idea. He preferred not to do surgery, and he referred me down to you, said that you were one of the two who had a very safe uh, alternative procedure. Yeah, 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 yeah. And... Uh, I certainly believe we do, and, and that's great of him doing that. I wish more ophthalmologists would, would understand this t- kind of stuff, but they don't. Uh, anyway, I did three, la- this was what, third laser surgery? Third one, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it always takes uh, more, than, more than one, certainly, in certain types of uh, floaters. But uh, I thought I could get a little more. I got a little more last time. But for you, it was a significant improvement. Yeah, from where I started uh, with the big membrane floater, as you call it, it yeah. almost inhibited my vision, and now I feel very comfortable. We got some small fragments floating yeah. around. Well, those are the small fragments, notice. actually. You know something? I'm going to start that from the beginning. Let me put this on pause. There it is. There we go. This is this is what it was initially. Yes. This is absolutely amazing because most people do not have this. That is a a thickened membrane. It's not like a common. Uh, vitreous floater at all and I re- now I remember my strategy the strategy was to split that in two and open a window uh, in the middle so you could see clearly but that was really that was really inhibiting your vision wasn't it terribly terribly yeah, so yeah, yeah. it was yeah. very frustrating and, and you know something I like doing these kind of things more than everyday floaters because this is a little bit more of a challenge I actually forgot what it looked like this time but yeah that was that is damn damn thick yeah, and I'm certainly happy it's gone because it's changed my vision quite a bit. So oh, I'm very, I, can't, very I, I can't imagine what it would be like to be on the other side. Yeah. But uh, you know what it's like, and uh, you're a happy camper? Absolutely. Okay, great. Recommend it fully, 100%. <laughs> okay, I, uh, I wish the other ophthalmologists would have uh, the same attitude, but, you know, it's just the way it is right now. Anyway, you're a great patient. Uh, I, I will like to see you back in about a month, and if there's some little residual that I can make better, if incrementally I did it with this last one better, we'll get a little more. And uh, this this makes my day. It amuses me. What can I say? Sounds great, Doctor. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.